Well, hey guys, we went traveling down this terrible road and uh, came across something we think you might want to look at. This is going to be a good one, guys. Well, let us get our gear together and we'll uh, climb on in there. We're all geared up and ready to dive. But that is a cool opening. Oh my goodness. That is really awesome. It's not very often I get to just walk right into a mine. There's a vein up there that seems to follow along the top. Really, really dark walls. Well, if you look right there, where my foot's pointing, you can see a buried uh, thingamajig. The wooden planks the tracks would go, to, go on to. I can't, I can't remember what they're called. It's kind of stinky in here though. There's some more scat. Don't know if it's a coyote. Yeah, I don't think it's a coyote, but it could be a, a fox or a a raccoon, I just, I don't know my animal poop. Oh. Don't knock that down. It could be that that piece of wood is all that's holding this slab up. Man, if that doesn't make you nervous, I don't know what will. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep, that is going to fall one of these days. You can already see it splintering, says the guy standing right in front of it. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna fall one of these days. Hey Frank, check out this. I think this wood is all that's holding this big slab up. What's that? I think this chunk of wood right here, this beam, is all that's holding this slab of rock up. Oh, look at that. Yep. Good crime, if that doesn't make you nervous. Couple of them up here. It's kind of a fun little jog. I think I found why it was stinky. I'll have to get a new battery out after we finish this mine, I think, for the camera. This is a pretty cool mine, you guys. I sure hope you're enjoying it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this place. What'd you think of that slab back there? My goodness. Oh, this place is cool. Look how flat that is. Pretty thing. Cool. And the coloration in this mine is very nice. Usually the mines are all covered in dust and grime. You can't see the walls, but this one, you can see a lot of the reds and yellows and blacks and greens and blues and purples and indigos and glow in the darks and all sorts of fluorescents. Okay, maybe not glow in the darks and fluorescents, but still, you get the point. I love all the twists and turns this place has given us. Speaking of beautiful colors, look at all those up there. The floor's not so bad.
Sorry, every once in a while I hit the camera with my flashlight. I'm sure you guys don't appreciate that. I apologize for the noise. It's a cool pocket of gray. There's a lot, there's been a couple of these little side pockets. I wonder if they put those there to, so that miners could stand in while a ore cart was passing, or if they were following a vein that just died, or for storage. <laughs> it just keeps on going. Oh, this place is so cool, you guys. This is what I was talking about before, the one that was buried. This one's just not buried. Yeah, if you guys haven't had a chance, go check out Frank's channel. I know a lot of you are familiar with his channel and probably found mine through his, but if you haven't checked his out yet, be sure to check it out. He's got a lot of awesome knowledge that he shares on his videos. Stuff that I just don't know. He's good people. Some more boards up in the ceiling. This place just keeps going, Frank. It does, yeah. This is a good find. Yeah, I think it might have been those pack rats, but yeah, it did smell odd. It's not so bad right here, though. Oh, it got really skinny all of a sudden. and purposes, this is a fairly clean mine. I'm not used to the walls being so close to each other though. Like right here at the base, minecart level is nice and open, but manhide head level, it's <laughs> not a whole lot of space there. There's a little piece of an old dynamite box. Lard. Kansas City, USA. I'm not sure what the lard part used to be. There aren't any other pieces right here, but that's pretty cool. Typically, boxes like that uh, will would have been used to carry dynamite in, which is a lot of which is what a lot of these old miners would use. Oh, look at this place! Cool. It's a good thing we're not claustrophobic, huh? The walls are pink. Interesting. So some gray, pink, dark, white. It's a pink dust. <laughs> this is a really cool mine. You know, we were talking as we were driving up to this place how a lot of these mines they start to be, they start to look like look the same. And then you get a gem like this where it's just so different. 
Rarely do I see a mine that's so rectangular and skinny in shape. But this one is just... It's barely wide enough. Oh, for a mine cart. Oh, Lord, you guys. It's places like this that make me nervous. I mean, a wedge is all that's keeping all of that up. I mean, look at that. You got two wedges there and a wedge right there, and that's all that's holding this board up. Cool. Uh oh. Oh. Ooh. Check that out, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> now that is a collapse, if I've ever seen one. Oh, yeah. Either that or a major backfill, but looking at the ceiling. That right there is what we just walked underneath. Only this is the top side of it. But it keeps going. So naturally, we're going to be dumb and keep going. And the key is to not touch that, I guess. Oh, man. Oh, it looks it goes off that way, too. I can't tell if it goes off very far though. No, it's just a pocket it looks like. I'm not gonna go back there guys, but it looks like there's a little pocket back there. Kinda like what we've been seeing before. Sorry for the bumpy ride, you guys. Okay, now either it ends or it turns. Got some track. It keeps going. Okay, I found the end. Oh, that is a cool beam. Except I think it's supposed to be up there. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. My goodness, you guys. <laughs> Ooh. That, this is a cool mine. Oh my goodness. Cry me. <laughs> oh, this place is cool. The mine ends just around the corner. All right, I'm going to show them this. We're going to this collapse area. Hello again. That's looking back at the other side of the collapse. Said the tunnel just ends not too far back here. Let's go check it out. It's got a, a couple of cool things to look at. <sighs> Let me get scooped past you here. Found another piece of that box. Yeah? I think that right there is just an alcove. Yeah, I think so too, like the other ones yeah. we've been seeing. I don't have them anywhere. And then there's check this out. So you can see guys. What the top of this looks like. Get a little closer look at it. Have you ever seen them from the top like that? Yeah, you rarely do see them from the top. Usually it's underneath, like Matt, there where, Trace, where my, Mrs. 49 is at. But these boards, they are super smooth. 
super smooth. Okay, let's see if we can get past here without knocking all this down. I don't think I don't think we'd be in danger of anything happening if this collapsed, but it's still not something I want to have happen. So where was that that you found? Oh yeah, there it is. Piece of box, box and railing. Yeah, there's some railing back there. Doesn't look like that. Kansas. Oh yeah, it's probably the other half of the Kansas. Right. I'm gonna hold on to it, guys, and show you when we get to the rest of that box up here. But uh, we're gonna chill here for a bit while. Frank is exploring that section, so we'll catch back up to you when we get to the rest of that box. If I can turn it off. Okay, so here's that, that box. So if we stick these together. Nope. <laughs> there we go, stick that together. Not sure what brand that is. And then Old Kansas City. Right there. There's not enough to show the name of it. Mine has a little bit of writing. That's. Well, yeah, but it's, it's not going to tell us. So it's definitely Kansas City, but I don't know what the lard part is. Ballard, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, we have explored the mine. So this is stuff you've already seen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn you off, turn the camera off, and then uh, unless something interesting is seen or happens, I'll uh, connect back up with you when we exit the mine. <laughs> See you in a few. Oh, there goes my head. It looks like it. It does, doesn't it? They probably punch that tunnel and then they come across this underground eventually. Okay guys, we're getting close to the, the opening now. You can see it up ahead there. I thought pranks for for little kids, but apparently not. Frank just tossed a, the end of a shovel handle at me and said, here, look, some dynamite. <laughs> oh, there's a bat. <laughs> I caught that on camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a couple of them. Oh, they're probably flying in and out. <laughs> It might be the same one, just going back yeah. and forth. I don't know, but it keeps just, <laughs> just stay low, and no fly over. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> Who knows where he went? Probably hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. Bats are not scary per se, but when they come at you, when you're not expecting to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the only one that freaks out with bats. See you guys? <laughs> it's normal. It's natural. I just saw something come flying at me. So what else am I supposed to do? Tech bat. Kamikaze bat. <laughs> well, guys. That was one cool find. Oh. I am so glad that you guys joined me for this one. It was really cool. All right. Oh. I'm gonna let Mrs. 49er catch her breath and come check out a little more of the tailing pile. But uh, I think we'll call it a day, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. Ooh. that's from
fox maybe? It's a carnivore, you can tell by the teeth. I don't want to get too close, I don't want it to bite me. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> thanks guys for joining me today, and I will see you next week.